Hi everybody, my name's Claire. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I've just done an amazing um, ribbon pour with silicon in the paint and I couldn't, I'm over the moon with it. I couldn't be happier with it. And the colours were reds, black, white, gold, two golds and a bronze. No, not bronze, a copper. The colours are just gorgeous, but I've got leftovers. Um, so I am going to try something I've not done before. It's going to be a swipe, um, but I'm going to do a swipe in a spiral. And I've not done this before. I'm going to use my um, turntable to turn the canvas round as I'm swiping. Who knows if it will work? I've seen other artists do it and just think it looks really fab, really interesting. Um, so I'm going to give it a go got a 30 centimeter square canvas I've just I put the push pins in the back but then I've just placed it on my cake turntable um, so what my plan is is to do some little spirals of the colors so small to start with and they'll probably start getting a bit larger and then the colors will swipe over each other um, it's it's quite thick, but it's not as thick as my usual mixture. I've mixed it with PVA glue and water um, and then put some silicon inside um, in, in it. I'll put the recipe for this, what I've used, in the description of the video. And I'll also link the painting I've just done into the video as well, because then in that painting, I've gone through all the colours that I've used. So I'm just going to go round in some rings. So I'm obviously leaving gaps at the moment. I think that's because I, would, I don't want too much paint on here. And what I'm hoping will happen is that it will just spread itself out a little bit. And if it doesn't, I'll spread it out before I swipe it. Or if I've got some left, I may come back in and mix it up a little bit. So I'm ready to start swiping. I'm going to use a little tool to start. So I think my plan will be to keep my hand quite still, but turn the canvas round, but just slowly move my hand outwards so that it's catching all the paint. As I said, I've not done this before, so I don't really know if this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna give it a go.
So what I'm wondering is if I've swiped enough. So I'm happy with the swirl. I'm just wondering, there's some, there's still a lot of paint on here, whether if I could swipe again, could I get a little bit more overlapping? So a bit more variation in the cells? Or do I even need to do that? I feel like the centre is going to be really plain and that's going to really bug me. Um, I've really run out of bronze. I'm just wondering if I can just, just put a tiny bit of bronze in the centre. Copper, sorry, not bronze. And then even a just a drop of black. Right, I'm going to do it again. Right, I'm going to torch it, just see what happens. <clears throat> Where's my torch? I'm now really happy with that centre because it's not quite regular. It's really, I think that's really interesting having that bit of black. It's really interesting. I think I like it. It's very different. I have never done anything like this before. I think if I stood back, I think I'd feel quite happy with it. I think I'm just too much in it at the moment and it's all very chaotic. <clears throat> so I am going to reserve judgment on this one. I think when it's dried, I think I'm going to really like it, but it's so different. I have never done anything like this before, but I'm happy to say it's worked. I've got the spiral I wanted. I've got the cells in lines in the spiral. Um, so it's worked. I'm really pleased with that. Whether I like it or not, I'm just not sure. I think I sound silly. I think I will really like it, but I think it takes a bit of getting used to because it's just so different. Um, let me show you up close. You've got just a real wonderful variety of cells. Um, that there I think is beautiful. So bronze and red together, absolutely gorgeous. So they're, sorry, copper and red. I've got to say copper. I rarely use copper. I normally use bronze. It's copper and red. Um, it's see, And there, they're different enough, but they're also really pretty similar. Um, I'm happy with the black. Black I rarely use um, because I think it can take over. But in a painting like this, it's really controlled. Um, I've, I've obviously got a very specific amount of paint on here. Um, I'm really pleased with the centre. I just felt the centre was too boring before. But look at that. I love that little black swirl. And you've got some black lacing around those, uh, those copper cells. 
So it will be so interesting when this is dry. Um, great, I'll be back then. So while this was still wet, I was unsure. Um, now it's dry, I'm sure. I love it. I'm so pleased with it. It's not the kind of painting I think I'll do lots of. I think it might be a one-off or I might do some more, but it's not going to be a regular thing. But I'm really intrigued by the by this whole spiral idea and swiping. And um, I'm really happy with the way the colours are all balanced. So you've just got the nice black line, the gold lines, the white. Um, so you can see each colour separately, which is what I wanted. But also because they're all swiped together, you've got the overlap and you've got the different cells poking through the different colours. Um, my favourite combination really has to be this golden, this this copper and red. Um, so it's really subtle. I don't normally like subtle things. I like bright, bold things. But something about that red and copper is just so beautiful. It's just so relaxed somehow. I'm really happy with all the black because it doesn't overpower. You've got the black and the gold totally separately and distinct next to each other there, um, which I really like. The copper is gorgeous. I don't use copper much. I think really should start using it a bit more. Um, it's just, it's very, very chaotic because obviously the whole piece is covered in cells. There's more of the red and the gold in there. Um, but I think because it's covered in cells, but because you've got the spiral and all the circles, that detracts from all the cells a bit. So it gives a sort of focal point. It gives something of interest to look at, not just the ton of cells. Um, I'm also really happy with the centre. I'm so glad I added those extra bits. Um, I definitely think it looks like a seahorse, that black bit. Um, but yeah, overall, it was an experiment and I think it's paid off. So I'm really pleased with the result. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. I'd love to know if you think this works. If you think I should do it again, if you think I should do different colours, um, really, really love to know what you think. Great. Take care. Bye.